Hey everyone, it's Ryan on the Syntax Byte, and in this video we're going to have a quick look at doing email address validation in Microsoft Excel. So I have a number of email addresses here, some of which are valid and some of which are not. Uh, in this video we're going to have a look at identifying which ones of these are valid and getting rid of the ones that are not, uh, as well as preventing anyone from entering any more in invalid email addresses into the column. So in order to start this, I'm going to select my column A, which is the column I have my email addresses in. I'm going to click this data tab here, it's already selected. I'm going to click this data validation button over here. I'm going to change from allow any value to just custom. We're going to enter a formula that will verify the email address for it. I have the formula in notepad here, so it's quite complicated. Uh, I'll briefly go over what it does, and then I'll have a link in the description where you guys can just copy and paste the formula. The only thing I'll point out is I have A1 here as a relative cell reference. If you are using this in a different column or starting at a different cell, that's the first cell in my range. Uh, just go ahead and um, uh, change the, uh, the, the cell that, that you're starting at. So uh, just go ahead and change the cell that you're starting at if it's a case that you're starting at a different cell for your, for your validation there. Uh, so basically what the formula does is it goes through and ensures that there's no spaces in the email address, uh, that there's only one at symbol in the email address, uh, that there are some characters before the at symbol in the email address, uh, that there's at least one period after the at symbol, uh, that there's at least one character between at and period, and that the address doesn't start or end with a period. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that formula. I'm going to paste it in the formula box here. I'm going to click OK. Okay. And so now I want to start by identifying the emails that aren't valid. So I'm going to click this, I'm going to click Circle Invalid Data. And Excel's almost going to freeze up for a moment. And it's going to come back and circle these here. So it isn't circling our title, we don't have to worry too much too much about that. Uh, but I can see that there's four email addresses here. I'm just going to go ahead and select the row by holding and clicking. And if yours weren't consecutive, you can just click the row and then click Control to select multiple rows and then I'm just gonna right click and we're just gonna delete those entire rows we don't need uh, any of those with an invalid email address but if you want you could go back and fix them up or do whatever you need to do with the data and so that gets us down to our three and now I just want to type in something that's invalid and uh, it tells me that there's a problem with the formula when I started with an at so that's so that's normal so we'll do something else um, we'll do James at dot com and it says that this value doesn't match the data validations restrictions defined for the cell. Uh, it offers that I can re retry. I'm going to say james at gmail.com and we're good. Um, so that's the gist of how you do email validation in Excel. Once again, I'll have the formula down in the description for you guys. Just click that link and you can copy and paste it from my site. Uh, and with that, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Click the thumbs up and subscribe.